They thought they were sneaky. Phone conversations about shirt colors and cutting the grass. Corrections officials say that was code for committing a crime inside a state prison. Now one man that was free is locked up. News 13's Chris McKee is in the Newsplex with the details. Crystal Corrections officers listened to the phone conversations of three people for about a week in June. They say a man and a woman were working with an inmate who apparently wasn't ready to give up his criminal ways. Behind prison doors, corrections officers face a huge challenge. Keeping inmates' hands clean from contraband. Our agents have to stay one step ahead of this all the time, and they really have done a fabulous job of doing that. And one recent incident tested officers at the Central New Mexico Corrections Facility in Los Lunas. Reynel de Vargas is doing time at CNMC for drug possession, assault, escape, and trafficking charges. He's now accused of trying to get his friends to sneak drugs in through this letter. The K-9, from my understanding, had a hit on the mail. Correction spokeswoman Alex Tomlin says in mid-June, officers swept the prison's mail and found a drug called Suboxin. Suboxin is unique because it is not illegal out in the free world. It's a prescription that you can go get. But in prison, it's illegal. Suboxin mimics the effects of meth. Now the investigation begins into how it got there. They went back and they listened to some phone messages. They did some investigative work. They called in state police. Outlined in this criminal complaint, corrections officers say Vargas spoke to a woman on the phone several times using code. It's, uh, very coded. There are different ways of going about it. There's, I like the color of your t-shirt and the color coordinates to a drug they want. In the criminal complaint, investigators say Vargas told the woman, quote, so tell fat expletive to double that up. They say he was talking about this man, Christopher Marquez, telling him to cut the strips of Suboxone up. Marquez faced a judge Saturday and corrections officials hope his arrest sends a strong message. If you're going to send something into our facility, we're going to make sure you are criminally charged and you could end up in that same facility where you were trying to smuggle contraband. Marquez is charged with distributing Suboxone, bringing contraband into a prison and conspiracy. Correction officers are still investigating charges against Vargas. Crystal, back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now, New Mexico corrections officials say it has upped its efforts to catch contraband in recent months through new, uh, new law as well. It's now a felony to try and bring a cell phone into a jail, and corrections caught its first offender just last week.